Hey guys, this is uh, Virtual Phoenix here. I'm going to be showing you how to use ComView right here and Kane also right here. These two are both um, like router connection, like I don't know how to like spires. I don't know how to pronounce. Not pronounce. Um, they all they do is tell you the IPs are connecting to your router at that time. So like right now, well here I'll show you how to set it up. Let me unpoison this. Let's see. Boom. All right. So when you first start up, Kane should look a bit like. Let me just exit on both. All right. Kane should look like this when you open it. I'll have a link in the description for both of these, Kane and Compu. Um, it should look just like this, actually. So what you want to do is is click on the start slash stop sniffer. You want to click on that. Don't worry about that message. If you do or don't get it, it doesn't make a difference. <coughs> and go over here. Now, what you won't have these at first, actually. You'll have just this. You hit the little blue button. Don't mess with anything. Don't mess with anything. Just hit OK. It'll find two links right here. You have this and that. I don't necessarily know what that is, but it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is is find the name of your router, which that's mine. And remember the last number is like point 0.1. That's the last number. So what we want to do is is go over to APR, and that will not be there either. So what you want to do is is hit the little blue button, and you want to click on that right there. And then, oh there, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> that's my Xbox. So then when you're done clicking on that, that's your router. You want to click on your router first, and then you want to click on your Xbox. So then you hit OK. And then when you're on that, you want to hit. You want to click on that and then hit the little nuke button, start slash stop APR. You do that and this will pop up. This st stuff will start to pop up. If you're in a party or in a game, it doesn't make a difference. I'm using a party because the game will end and then I will disconnect from other people. So it doesn't matter. Or so, like, it would be not a smart idea to do it during a game. But if you're in a party, you're not going to leave or disconnect from people. So. One thing you need to know before you start is don't ever mess with that IP right there, 65.55. If you see that at the beginning of anything, know that that is your IP. Like, the first one is yours. Um, I don't know if you can create Elias or not. I don't really mess with it. Just I understand that that's mine. So I'm going to party with three other people. Um, so right here, you know their IP. That is their Xbox IP. I don't know if that's their actual IP or not, but that's definitely their Xbox IP. I don't even think there are two different IPs, but maybe I'm just stupid. You have those three, and what you want to do with those, you can just like, if you have a booter, like Metis, Delphi, I don't know if you know that it is, I'll make a video later, probably today actually, on how to use that or how to get bots and stuff. Anyway, um, if you have this, you can type in that IP, here I'll open it up real quick, it's quick. Um, you type in that IP right here, and you like, you know, you type in, I don't know what that guy's was. It doesn't matter. Type in the 981. And anyway, it doesn't matter. Hit you hit send command. And that will boot the person offline if you have bots. I only have like one online right now. I don't really get bots or anything. Um so yeah, see I have one online. What you do is is open up com. Com view. I call it com, I don't know. I'm I call it com. Anyway, so this will pop up right here. And what you want to do is, when you first start, let me get rid of this, so you believe me, under action, keep it on capture, under add record, you want to hit both, and under, like, add, in this little bar right here, you want to type in 3074, and that is Xbox, the Xbox's port, so you have it right there. Um, then you want to go to latest IPs back, you want to go back there and hit play. And then right here are the people. Now, originally, this will be your one it'll be this number right there, it'll be that number 192.168.1.100 that'll be right there under me but what you, what you can do with people is um, right click on their name and then go to create Elias or I mean, you can use either local or remote it doesn't matter For I'm obviously going to use uh, local because it says me under remote so I'm going to use local and then I don't really know whose that is but Comcast.net, so they use Comcast, that's cool. I don't know who it is, but if I did know who it was, which I'll show you how to find out who it is here in a second, if I did know, you type in the name like Bob, I don't know. But 
I'm not gonna do that because I don't know about. It. But right now, I guess let me let me refresh this. See if some people left or something. Uh, that we've got this guy, which is me. Or no, that's not me. So we've got these three right here still. I don't know why I am not showing up. But we still got those three. And these are all the same. No, they're not the all same IP. So you got two different IPs. I don't know where the other guy is. But so what you can do with this is this com view tells you who in the party is talking. See that little blue play button? If you're talking, that will have a little play button. Like, let me talk into my mic real quick. Whoa, drop the controller. If you're talking to your mic. Hello. Right there, if you saw that blue button by my name, it kinda it was there before. Sometimes Comview gets a little confused with packets and stuff. But when when I'm talking, it says like it says it right under by me. So like what you how this tells you whose IP you're looking at is if somebody in your party is talking, uh, it'll have like a little, you know, like if you're an Xbox, it'll have that little speaker by their name. So once the speaker shows up, hurry up and look over here, and whatever IP has that little play button by it, that's who's, like, that's their IP. It's so like, say, John was talking, I'd look over here real quick and look, John's talking right there, so that's John's IP. That's how you figure it out. Um, it's kind of simple. It it's really effective. I mean, you can, if you're a host, you can use net tools and boot people offline. I might make a video on that. There's, there's a lot of things you can do, and it's great. It works. It's obviously not fake, or that wouldn't have worked. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I will have the link of these two in the description. There'll be media fire, no survey, and crap like that. I'm not retarded. I don't want money from you guys. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching and. Bye.